In this video, we will construct a flowchart for a given problem statement. That is, you are given the length of three sides of a valid triangle. You need to print any one of the following outputs depending on the triangle's nature. Print 1 if the triangle is equilateral. Print 0 if it's isoscalous. Print minus 1 if it's scalar. Before beginning the actual construction of the flowchart, Let's understand what are equilateral, isoscalous and scalar triangles. Equilateral triangle has all sides equal. Isoscalous triangle has any two sides equal. And scalar triangle has all different sides. For example, let's consider we have three sides provided by the user. Let's say 10, 10 and 12. As two sides are equal, Thus, it is an isoscalous triangle and hence our program should print 0. Now let's dive to construct a flowchart. Initially, let's draw a starting terminator to begin the program. Now, accept three numbers from the user and store them in variables a, b and c using an input component. Furthermore, we will add a decision box to check whether A is equals to B is equals to C or not. If the condition in the decision box is true, that means it is an equilateral triangle. Thus, we will print 1 with an output component and end the program using the end terminator. But if the condition in the decision box is false, that is, if A, B, C are not equal, then we will implement another decision box to check if A is equals to B or B is equals to C or C is equals to A or not. If the condition is true, that is, if any two sides are equal, that means it is an isoscalous triangle. And hence, we will print 0 with an output component and end the program. And if the condition is false, then we will simply print minus 1, which means the triangle is neither equilateral nor isoscalous. Thus, it is an scalar triangle. In addition, we will terminate the program. Now let's dry run the flowchart. Consider A is equals to 2, B is equals to 4 and C is equals to 1. As A, B, C are not equal, Thus, the condition in the first decision box is false. Now, A, B, C are forwarded towards the second decision box. Here, A is not equals to B and B is not equals to C and C is also not equals to A. Thus, none of the conditions is true. Thus, the condition in the second decision box is also false. As a result, our program will print minus 1. Thank you.